हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ मेडिसिनल प्लांट व्हिच इज टीनोस्पोरा कोर्डियोफोलिए फर्स्ट लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट इट्स हैबिटेट इट्स हैबिटेट इज सीन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड थ्रू आउट इंडिया नेक्स्ट इज इट्स हैबिट इट इज अ क्लाइंबिंग श्रब एंड दिस क्लाइंब्स ओवर द हाईएस्ट ट्रीज the branches with a downward aerial roots are seen so these aerial roots are grown and reaches the ground the leaves of tenospora are simple and alternate so the male and female is seen in separate plants that is these plants are dioecious plants so this is the habit of tenospora so it is a climbing shrub and these branches have a downward aerial root and these roots reaches the ground the leaves of these plants are simple as well as it is alternately arranged the male and female are seen in different plants so this is about the habit of tenospora so these pictures are of tenospora cordiofolia as you can see in the diagram this is a climbing shrub that is it climbs over trees so this also has a aerial root as you can see in the second diagram these are the aerial roots from these climbing shrubs the leaves is simple and it is alternately arranged so now let us discuss about the useful part the useful part of the plant is the mature stem so the morphology of the useful part that is the morphology of the mature stem is that the starch from these mature plant surface is closely studded with warty tubercles that is a warty tubercles is present in the mature stem surfaces now let us discuss about the anatomy of the useful part that is the anatomy of the mature stem the mature stem is covered with a cork and the outer tissue is broken up by the opening of lenticels that is the outer tissue that is outer cork tissue has lenticels so the phylogen consists of a single and phyloderm consists of five rows of cells so phylogen consists of a single and phyloderm consists of five rows of cells so the cortex is large and it has many secretory cells which are scattered and these secretory cells are larger than the cortical cells so below the vascular zone there is xylem and phloem about 10 to 12 strips of xylem and phloem is present and these xylem and phloem is alternate with medullary rays so the center is occupied with a pith so this is about the anatomy of the useful part so the useful part is covered with a cork and the outer cork has lenticels in it and the phylogen consists of single row of cell whereas phylodon consists of five rows of cells it has a cork cortex has large number of secretory cells and these secretory cells are larger than the cortical cells so after the vascular zone there is xylem and phloem about 10 to 12 strips of xylem and phloem are present and this xylem and phloem is separated by a medullary rays pith is present in the center in the plant tenosporia cordiofolia the useful part is the mature stem 
so the mature stem is been powdered and consumed so it is consumed in the form of fine powder so the useful part of tenospore cordiofoli is the mature stem so now let us discuss about the phytochemicals that is present in the plant which is cordiofol tenosporidine tenosporide tenosporine and perberylene so these are the five phytochemicals that is present in the plant so now let us discuss the pharmaceutical uses it has a pungent and bitter taste but on digestion it is sweet it is astringent and strengthening it promotes the digestion power and is used against cough anemia jaundice etc it cures the bleeding of piles and also promotes longevity now let us discuss the active compounds that is present in the plant it include alkaloids dipternod lactones glycosides swetsky terpenoid aliphatic compounds anti diabetic anti cancer anti toxic anti microbial anti oxidant and anti hiv so these are the active compounds that are present within the plant now let us discuss the medicinal properties so as we have discussed earlier we know that the most useful part of the plant is the mature stem and this mature stem is used in several diseases curing and this include fever to urinary diseases so it these stems are bitter in taste and it is used as a stomachic which means that it is used for stomach problems it is a diuretic which means that urine passing can be increased it stimulates the bile secretion and causes constipation burning sensation vomiting and enriches the blood and it cures the jaundice so this stem is also useful for many skin diseases this plant can also be used as a antidote that is against snake bites and scorpion sting this is created by a combination of root stem and other drugs so a combination of root stem and other drugs can be a antidote against snake bites and scorpion stings earlier in the active compounds are present in the plant we have discussed that this plant is anti diabetic since they have components which is anti diabetic it can be used for the treatment of diabetics it also has an active compound which is anti hiv so it is also beneficial to the immune system so these are the medicinal property of the plant hope you like the video and if you like the video please like and share with your friends please do subscribe to our channel